people converged on Market Street in San Francisco today to celebrate the city's annual Gay Pride Parade. It's one of the oldest and largest events of its kind in the world, and it again focuses attention on many of the struggles in the gay community. KTVU's Amber Lee is at Civic Center Plaza in San Francisco, where the party is still going strong. Amber? Absolutely, Ken. Here at Civic Center Plaza, a very loud, large crowd has gathered for a very loud festival and party. It's scheduled to last until 7 o'clock tonight, but the highlight of the celebration took place this morning. As tradition dictates, the Dykes on Bikes kicked off the 36th annual Pride Parade. The theme, commemorate, educate, liberate, and celebrate, reflected both the mood of participants and people attending the event. This year marks a somber chapter in the gay community. Get a free HIV test. Be safe. 25 years ago, researchers identified AIDS as a disease that was a virtual death sentence for members of the gay community back then. There was a time when you were, most of us were losing uh, a friend a week. Seventy-year-old Deke Van Arsdale is with AIDS Walk, a nonprofit group created to benefit AIDS patients who couldn't afford food, medication, and care in the early days of the deadly epidemic. Today, the group hopes funding for research will bring a cure for AIDS. Remember where you came from? We look to where we're going. Organizers honored 82-year-old retired San Francisco Police Sergeant Elliot Blackstone with the title of Lifetime Achievement Grand Marshal. In the 1960s, Blackstone was a straight officer who befriended and helped gays, lesbians, bisexuals, and transgenders. He says he's gratified at the enormous change in attitude over the years. The parade featured members of the San Francisco Sheriff's Department and Police Department who openly walked hand-in-hand -hand with same-sex partners. The gay person now has a chance. They didn't when I started. Today is also a celebration of tomorrow. Same-sex couples told us they refuse to give up hope. They'll be able to marry legally someday and be part of mainstream society. Our nation is based on the ideas of liberty and equality for all. One visitor from New Zealand says San Francisco's Gay Pride Parade is well known in her country. It's part of San Francisco's life, isn't it? The, the Gay Parade. Yeah, we've heard about it. We've heard about it over there. Yeah, it's great. Jennifer Beals of Flashdance fame was the celebrity Grand Marshal. She currently plays a lesbian character on a TV show called The L Word. To me, it's the most important parade in the United States. It's not about shopping and it really cuts across every race, every class, every age, every language, every orientation and allegiance. And for me, it was really uh, a very exciting honor. The gay community says that it hopes the popularity of this annual event will eventually translate to widespread acceptance and equal rights. Live in San Francisco, Amber Lee, KTVU, Channel 2 News.